Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the 27th Treehouse of Horror Simpsons episode. And not only is this the 27th Treehouse of Horror, but this is the 600th episode of The Simpsons. So it's very cool that the 600th episode is a Treehouse of Horror and I'm honestly glad about that because it actually gives me a reason to say Thank you to The Simpsons for delivering just so many wonderful episodes. Uh, I'm personally still a fan of The Simpsons to this day. I still love the new episodes as much as I love the old classic episodes. That's just my humble opinion, of course. This is going to be the end of the crazy and bloody Halloween extravagant reviews for... 2016. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that's been watching all of these reviews leading up to the ultimate conclusion. So without further ado, like what I do with these reviews every year, I will review segment by segment and then at the end of the review I will give you an overall rating on how this turned out. Before I do get to segments, I do want to talk about the opening scene because there's always a little something with the opening scene. So this episode opens with the Simpsons family going Christmas shopping on Halloween. Yep, they do their early Christmas shopping and then who do they run into while they're doing their Christmas shopping on Halloween? They run into Sideshow Bob, they run into one of the aliens, and then they run into uh, the ghost of Frank Grimes, and then they're missing someone. They also pull out the, pull out the leprechaun, and then what happens next? Maggie kills them all and it cuts to Treehouse of Horror 27 title. Then from there, that's when we get our usual couch gag. And the couch gag I did think was pretty cool, but I thought it was even cooler once you see the ghost of Frank Grimes actually looking at the number. Like you see clips, like it's rising and rising. You're just seeing from the old all the way to the new. You're seeing the number rise from zero all the way to 600. Kind of similar to maybe what the five 500 episode milestone did that was so cool i loved loved how this started that was a great opening scene and that was a very cool way to show the big 600 to remind the audience that it is the 600th episode and hopefully with this being a 600 episode will this be a good trials of horror because of these being hair misses let's find out with the first segment and that first segment is called Dry Hard. So Dry Hard is actually a parody of the Hunger Games and then at the very last minute Mad Max Fury Road and um, I have to say I actually enjoyed this one quite a bit. I did really have a lot of fun with this one. I enjoyed the whole end of part one and the part two gag. That was actually very cool and funny. I thought Homer playing Hey Mitch was very funny and of course obviously Lisa's gonna be Katniss Everdeen and all these gags of all of these kids getting killed which sounds really fucked up uh, coming out from me but you know just how they handled those gags I thought was actually very funny and the Mad Max Fury Road gag towards the end of the segment I actually thought that was very funny as well I actually thought a lot of the jokes did hit some are just like yeah didn't really work but they weren't really anything too forced in my humble opinion if I just have to say my criticism with this segment. It's just that, yeah, towards the end, it does start to get rushed. It was very well paced, and all of a sudden, towards the end, they're all like, oh, we're running out of time because we gotta run to the second segment, so we gotta hurry up, hurry up. So it kind of felt like they were rushing just so, just so they could wrap up to the next segment in this episode. I just thought it was a funny episode overall. So to give it a rating, I would give Dry Hard a seven out of 10. All right, so the next episode is called BFF slash RIP. This segment is about when Lisa is losing her own friends, like anyone that they, she calls a best friend, they immediately get killed. And it leads to the point where Lisa gets an imaginary friend named Rachel, voiced by, surprisingly, Sarah Silverman. And I'm not a fan of Sarah Silverman. I don't find her funny at all. I find her to be very annoying. 
With that being said, I will say Sarah Silverman was actually surprising, and she didn't even use her regular Sarah Silverman voice. She actually kind of changed up her voice a bit for the character of Rachel. And I have to say, good voice work on Sarah Silverman's part. She actually did a good job voicing Rachel. And I'm kind of glad that she didn't use her regular voice. She just kind of changed it up a bit to sound a little bit unrecognizable. And that was a nice touch, so that was good. The segment, I, I thought it was eh. To be perfectly honest, this is not exactly the best segment. Definitely not a horrible segment because some of these Treehouse of Horror episodes in the past have had some really terrible segments. This is not terrible. I do think the concept was very interesting and it definitely fits the whole Treehouse of Horror theme after all with death. But I just thought the writing was rather bland to be honest i just thought the writing was kind of middle more in the middle of the road path if i have to be perfectly honest and i found myself just kind of bored and i did find the whole lisa losing her best friends thing just to be quite old uh, the bits that definitely were funny the funniest scenes were any scenes with homer anytime homer showed up in the segment i was laughing he was very funny it also leads up to an ending where homer has an imaginary friend the ending i would probably definitely say is the funniest part of this whole entire segment uh, honestly that's all i have to really say for this one it had a cool concept and but i just didn't find myself really caring for it it's not a memorable segment like i said it's not terrible either but it's not something that I'm going to be going, oh, this really stands out to me. I didn't mind sitting through it, so because of that, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. And now the last segment is going to be Mo Finger. So Mo Finger is actually a Kingsman, the Secret Service spoof with James Bond to it. It's a blend of Kingsman and James Bond, and I thought that was very cool. Mo is actually Colin Firth's character, and Bart finds his tavern after he takes care of the bullies. He takes Bart, and he's hoping that Bart will take the place of Homer, who died, um, until they run into this evil this evil guy that is named re ohm like it's homer spelled backwards basically and i have to say i actually had a lot of fun with this one this is actually my favorite out of the three segments even though i definitely had fun with the first segment this one i actually had a little bit more fun with personally i liked how they spoofed king's man i liked the whole james bond reference mainly when you see homer spelled backwards re Mo, something like that. That was actually very cool and very funny as well. And of course, the obvious spoof when they do the fight at the end, that's obviously when they were referencing the church scene in Kingsman the Secret Service. I thought that was a very nice touch personally. It's a very creative episode. Very well paced, I would say. It didn't feel too rushed, to be honest. I thought it was actually very well paced. And I actually really liked the ending of this episode. I thought the ending of the episode was just a very, very nice way to actually end this Treehouse of Horror installment. So this segment, like I said, I had a little bit more fun with this one than the first segment. So because I enjoyed it a little bit more, I'll overall go ahead and give it like a 7.5 out of 10. I so you guys, when I range the first segment to the second segment, which I was originally going to go a 5.5 with, if I have to be honest, but I'll go with a generous 6 on the second segment. And with me giving the third segment a 7.5, I have to say, The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror 27th episode is going to get a 7 out of 10. I actually really enjoyed most of the segments. I enjoyed two out of the three segments in this episode. So I'm going to say a 7 out of 10. I thought this was a solid installment and I'm happy it's solid because it's a 600 episode and when you reach to a certain milestone you want to be at least good and that's what I could definitely call this it's a good Treehouse of Horror episode in my personal opinion way way better than last year's Treehouse of Horror episode because last year's oh my god was shit 
Thank goodness this year, 2016, was not that case. It was actually good. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of the 27th Treehouse of Horror episode of The Simpsons. And since this is the 600th episode, why don't you tell me what's your favorite season of The Simpsons? What's your favorite episode of The Simpsons? Anything Simpsons related? Any fun memories you want to share of The Simpsons? Um, let me know any of that stuff in the comments down below. And what's your favorite segment? In this Treehouse of Horror episode, Dry Hard, um, BFF slash RIP, or Mo Finger. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. Thank you so much for watching all of these Halloween reviews. I hope everyone has a very happy Halloween. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.